Good evening, Royal Ones. This is Miss Gigi. I'm coming back at you again with a powerful episode. Let's talk about um, your purpose. Okay, this is this is very powerful. This is gonna set your the tone for 2023. This is gonna set a tone for your year. Um because when you don't when you don't know your purpose, your life is out of sync. It feels out of sync, like your life is missing something. And you don't know why you have this like personality, like you're weird or whatever it is, but but he's designed that so that it, your personality flows with your purpose. And people will look at you and say, Oh, I could tell you have a knack for that. And this is the your purpose is the thing you you love to do with the least amount of effort. And it says, the Lord says in the Bible, your gift will make room for you and reign before great men. So the sooner you find out what it is that you're, that you're supposed to be here for, the better. And this is, you know, and this is your gift. Your gift is tied to your purpose. So, and you have great confidence in this area. It's like, I know that the skill, I know what it is I'm doing. I know how to do this over and over again with confidence and and, and people are willing to pay me for it. Well, the Lord said in Genesis 1, 28, God blessed them and said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Be fruitful, meaning your gift. Take your gift and make your gift make money from that. And then multiply, meaning expand it in different locations. Replenish it. Can you serve it to build up the community, which is means your clients? Subdue, meaning control your purpose by teaching it. Design the blueprint. Teach someone the skill. Become a mentor. Uh, write the vision. Make it plain so that he nearby can run with it. And then number five, dominion. Control it. Become the leader in your industry. You know, this is this is why I used to ask this question back in 2006. Are you living or are you existing? Because if you are operating your purpose, then you are happy, you are living. But if you are miserable and upset with your circumstances, then you are existing. So we need to find out what what brings you more fulfillment because, you know, it ain't, it's more to life than just I need to get a job and make money. Go to school, get a job so I can make some money and work for somebody else. No, 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 no. You know, you need to, you know, operate, discover what your gift is. So when you're operating it, you'll keep get you'll want to keep getting up, going to work every day. You'll find happiness and great joy. And the Lord will reveal your purpose to you as you keep going. And he'll send people in your life to have this conversation. And he'll reveal the stuff that he put down on the inside of you. And this is, you know, basically your strengths. And this is something that, you, that comes naturally to you. And it requires little or no training. And... And this is something that you're passionate about doing. And um, so it might not pay as much money, but if you just operating your gift and you, and you know, you see, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, knowledge, righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Just get into alignment with God and your finances will start to line up too. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. If you need more money, just ask him. And there's a, there's a scripture for that. It says, if it had not, if that had been too little, I will moreover have given the such and such. This is 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 8. This is what he told David. He will give you such and such things. He will give you moreover. You just got to ask him. He saw Bathsheba bathing and he wanted her so bad that he killed her husband. He sent him into the front lines and had him killed immediately. And the Lord said, you don't have to steal or kill somebody or take advantage of a situation for the things you need. Just simply pray about it and I'll give them to you. The Lord gives us power to obtain wealth. That's Deuteronomy 8 and 18. But after this, he will give you the wealth after you discover your purpose. Okay, so your beginning will seem humble, but so prosperous will your future. That's Job 8 and 7. But you got to have faith and trust and know and believe that the Lord sees you and watching you. And he's waiting for you to, to operate in your purpose. And as soon as you step out on faith and you operate in your purpose, then, he, then the money will flow. It's all in alignment. He will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings. He don't have room not to receive. You don't have room not to receive. Trust me, I'm telling you, he'll do it. So we know you hate your job, but let's find out what you do love. If you, You've been stuck in this rut for too long. You need to discover your purpose and your gift. It's not meant for you. Once you discover it, yes, the Lord gave it to you, but you must give it 
a way to help someone. Much is given, much is required. So the Lord gives you the gift. So it's kind of like paying it forward. Ah, that's it. All right, warrior ones, let's let's meet me in the comment section. Let's have this conversation. What's your purpose? What's your gift? Have you discovered it? Let's talk about it. All right, take this into your your year, into your day, into your weekend. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.